Welcome to the story of the infamous pirate ship, Queen Anne's Revenge. Captained by the legendary Blackbeard, this ship was one of the most heavily armed vessels of its time and was used to terrorize ships and towns along the eastern seaboard of the American colonies and the Caribbean. Join us as we dive into the history of this legendary ship, from its origins as a French slave ship to its capture by Blackbeard and its eventual demise. Get ready to learn about the ship's design and construction, the daily life of the crew, and the excavations and research that have been conducted on the wreckage. So, set sail and join us on this journey through the past, on the Queen Anne's Revenge. Queen Anne's Revenge was a ship that was captured by the pirate Blackbeard, Edward Teach, in 1717. The ship was originally a French slave ship named La Concorde, but was captured by Blackbeard and his crew and used as their flagship. Blackbeard outfitted the ship with 40 guns, making it one of the most heavily armed vessels of its time. He used it as his base of operations for his piracy activities along the eastern seaboard of the American colonies and the Caribbean. Blackbeard captained the ship for about a year before running it aground in June 1718 in what is now known as Beaufort Inlet, North Carolina. The ship was subsequently abandoned and its remains were discovered in 1996 by a team of underwater archaeologists. The wreckage has been the subject of several excavations and research studies, yielding a wealth of information about 18th century shipbuilding and life on board a pirate ship. The exact origins of the ship are not known, but it is believed to have been built in France around 1710 and was used as a slave ship before it was captured by Blackbeard. It was a three-masted vessel, also known as a frigate, which was a type of ship that was commonly used for piracy and warfare at the time. It was approximately 110 feet long and had a width of around 29 feet, making it a formidable vessel with a large cargo capacity. Blackbeard and his crew captured the ship in the West Indies, and he immediately began to make modifications to suit his needs as a pirate. He added additional guns, which increased its firepower to 40 guns, making it one of the most heavily armed ships of its time. He also added defensive features like reinforced walls and a platform for sharpshooters to shoot down on approaching ships. As a pirate ship, Queen Anne's Revenge was used to attack and plunder other ships, as well as to raid coastal towns. Blackbeard and his crew would target ships carrying valuable goods such as gold, silver, and spices, and would also take hostages for ransom. They were known for their brutal tactics, and their reputation for violence and bludge made them feared by sailors and merchants. Life on board Queen Anne's Revenge was harsh and dangerous. The crew lived in cramped quarters and had to endure long periods at sea. They subsisted on a diet of salted meat and hardtack, and had to contend with diseases like scurvy. However, they also had some leisure time, and they would often spend it playing games, singing, and dancing. Queen Anne's Revenge was Blackbeard's flagship for about a year before it was run aground in June 1718. The exact circumstances of the shipwreck are not known, but it is believed that Blackbeard deliberately ran the ship aground in Beaufort Inlet, North Carolina, in order to avoid capture by the Royal Navy. He and his crew were able to escape, but the ship was abandoned and subsequently sank. The wreckage of Queen Anne's Revenge was discovered in 1996 by a team of underwater archaeologists, led by Intersil, Incorporated, and the North Carolina Department of Cultural Resources. Since then, several excavations have been conducted, and over 250,000 artifacts have been recovered, including cannons, anchors, and other ships' equipment. These artifacts have provided valuable insights into 18th-century shipbuilding and life on board a pirate ship. Queen Anne's Revenge was one of the most legendary ships in pirate history, and the infamous pirate Blackbeard was one of the most notorious captains of his time. It was a heavily armed vessel and was used to terrorize ships and towns along the eastern seaboard of the American colonies and the Caribbean. The remains of the ship have been the subject of several excavations and research studies, which have provided valuable insights into 18th-century shipbuilding and life on board a pirate ship. 
These artifacts have been housed and exhibited in the North Carolina Maritime Museum in Buford and other locations. The artifacts have also been used to reconstruct the ship's layout and to understand the everyday life of the crew. The ship's design and construction also provide important information about the technology and skill of shipbuilders of the time. The ship's rudder and the iron bolts and spikes used to hold the ship together are examples of the technology and craftsmanship of the period. The recovered artifacts also offer a glimpse into the material culture of the time, including ceramics, glassware, and personal items such as buttons and coins. The discovery of Queen Anne's Revenge has also sparked interest in the history of piracy and has helped to shed light on the lives of the sailors who participated in this dangerous and often lawless profession. It has also provided a valuable educational opportunity for students of history, archaeology, and maritime studies to learn about the past in a hands-on and interactive way. The story of Queen Anne's Revenge is a fascinating chapter in the history of piracy. The ship and its captain, Blackbeard, were infamous figures in their own time and continue to capture the imagination of people today. The discovery of the ship's remains and the subsequent research and excavation have provided valuable insights into 18th century shipbuilding and life on board a pirate ship. It continues to be a popular tourist destination and an important educational resource. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the past. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more historical content like this. Until next time, farewell.